This your lavish lifestyle. You have not stopped it. See as you arrange good for all your body, you look like a masquerade. Not be juju this be is arrant nonsense and waste of money. Why are you spending money buying Kuban, expensive gold everywhere? You like show off too much. You know that this country is not safe. Very soon you are going to be kidnapped. Why all this show off? Are you the first person to make money? I mean, it's ridiculous. It's a very shameful act of irresponsible display of wealth. It doesn't make sense. Must you show off? That is why it's good to go to church with a little bit of of religious knowledge you will know that everything is vanity you're just wasting money instead of you to go and be buying plots of land you are spending ridiculously high amounts of money on show of gold silver look at your life nonsense you be mumu there's one thing i hate about civil servants and which is what is the meaning of that what is that that you hate about civil servants it's so mind-blowing. I don't understand how civil servants think. There is this chronic poverty mentality that is worrying majority of you. I don't know if it has to do with you going to work 9 to 5 for 35 years, doing the same thing every day, living from paycheck to paycheck. Maybe it's why you people don't think outside the box so that you can learn. It would have been better you just ask me, oh boy, why are you always buying gold and silver? Hear my side of the story first, before you jump into a conclusion, saying uh, oppression, extravagance. You people have this chronic inferiority complex. Only God will help you. For your information, being rich is not how much you have in your bank account. It's how much you have in your heart. It is your heart that determines whether you are rich or poor. Not the amount of money you have in your pocket or in your bank account. Nonsense. You are a mumu man. Meanwhile, you are here to ask me to give you a loan to pay your children's school fees. Why don't you withdraw the money that is in your heart? Yes, withdraw that money that is in your heart. Use it to pay your children's school fees. Use it to pay your house rent. And leave me alone. Poto. Um, my friend. It has not got into that now. Someone cannot play with you. Eh? 70 years old man. It has got into that. Anything that a rich man does, poor people like you always criticize. And you are always praying to become rich. You cannot attain what you don't celebrate. You are always criticizing the rich. Deep down inside you want to be rich. That is why you can never attain wealth. Look at your conclusion about me acquiring gold. You are calling it extravagance. You are calling it waste of money. You are calling it show off. You see why you have remained poor? Because you don't think outside the box. You draw conclusions. You don't want to ask questions so that you can learn. Whatever the rich does, you criticize. Instead of you to come down and learn from the rich, you speak anyhow. Today, I am going to enlighten you about gold. Your father-in-law died last year. Am I correct? Yes. And what has that got to do with anything? Are you trying to mock me? I don't understand. Was he supposed to live forever or what? Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. I'm getting somewhere. Now, another question. Why were you not able to save his life when he was sick? Listen, I did the best I could do. You know how much I love my wife. I tried to save her father. I did the best I could. The doctor said that he had to be flown abroad for operation. And the money that they needed for the operation was six million. You know I put my land up for sale. And I could not get a buyer for seven months. Within those seven months, the man died. So what, what was I supposed to do? Oh my God. Now, the gold on my neck is worth times four of that land you wanted to sell in amount. This gold is worth well over 24 million naira. Now, it took you seven months, yet you could not get a buyer for your land, and somebody died as a result. 
now if i want to turn this gold on my neck to cash it will take me nothing less than five minutes to liquidate it the market for gold is readily available and you can turn gold to cash in a matter of minutes the same cannot be said about real estate so before you go about spreading your ignorance by saying that gold is extravagance uh, land is better than it if you had gold worth six million your father-in-law would not have died oh oh so the gold you wear and you buy is more like a store of value not only to show off now i know all those aboki those gold vendors that stand by the roadside always whistling calling people they are the ones that buy this gold from you people you can sell at the black market you can sell any oil that is true converting gold to money is faster than converting real estate to cash you see it's not just about showing off or using gold as an adornment it is also a store of value the price of gold has remained relatively stable over several years so it's like a store of value it helps you to hedge your money against uh, inflation so it's like a store of value and to liquidate gold is very fast if you are concerned about security because you talked about kidnapping you can store your gold in bank vaults or you can also invest in gold etfs like buying stocks for gold you don't hold the the physical gold but you know you have a store of value of gold in stock uh, you can grow your wealth like that and you can battle inflation and when you need your cash it is very 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 fast and gold also continues to appreciate in value your money keeps increasing one major gold etf in nigeria is the new gold etf and it is traded on the nigerian stock exchange it was created by an asset management company called new gold managers limited and the fund is sponsored by vetiva capital management limited so with little amount like even ten thousand naira you can start investing in gold etfs ten thousand us dollars you mean no my friend with ten thousand naira you can even start you can start so there are so many stock brokers you can talk to for example you can approach stambic ibtc stock brokers you can approach rank up securities you can approach uh, absa securities fixed stock brokers and start your investment journey in gold the only difference between physical gold and this etf is that you don't get the physical gold but you get a certificate showing the amount of gold that you have gold value keeps appreciating over time there may be minor fluctuations up and down but on the average your money will keep growing instead of keeping your money in fiat currency that inflation will keep eating up buy some gold either physically or in etfs it will help your finances my friend you think they're wise huh it is really good to ask questions so now i have a whole new perspective about gold huh. when i was getting married i wish I, I i used gold wedding rings i would have sold it by now and used it to pay my house rent instead of always running about looking for someone to borrow me money when i got married i had some money i should have bought wedding rings in gold high carat gold would have had something to sell and used to pay the children's school fees by now but since we did not buy gold we did not buy silver that is why i have come so that you can help me with some money to pay my children's school fees you know school is about to resume remember that thing you said about wealth at the beginning of this conversation okay that the true measure of wealth is the amount you have in your heart and not in your bank you be mumu exactly uh -huh. so go and withdraw the money in that your heart and use it to pay your children's school fees i don't have a dime to give you go and start investing in gold so that you stop going about borrowing money nonsense